Everybody's biggest fear when it comes to sourcing their products from somewhere like China is getting ripped off. Somebody's just stealing your hard earned money. So in this video, I'm going to show you three super easy ways, take you one minute to apply them, that will cut out the risk of getting ripped off. Now, if you like this kind of content, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel. I do fresh new content every single day all about helping you start your own business uh, on Amazon or eBay, Etsy, wherever it may be, right around the world. Uh, with that being said, let's get into it. Neil, how can I avoid being scammed by my Chinese factory on Alibaba? Uh, well, first of all, you're really not that likely to get scammed on Alibaba. Um, those days are kind of gone now when it was the wild, wild west. It ain't really the wild, wild west anymore on Alibaba. You know, there's lots of other platforms where it potentially is still the Wild West, where they're asking you to pay in Bitcoin and crazy shit like that. But for the most part, the majority of factories on Alibaba are legitimate, like 99.9% .9 of them. Okay, so um, you're much more likely to overpay due to ignorance on your part than you are to get scammed. Okay, so that's really the bigger problem that a lot more people will face just overpaying for stuff. Folks who are currently doing my uh, advanced sourcing mastery course uh, will know all about that and know how to avoid it. However, let me see if I can give you some quick tips um, to avoid getting scammed on Alibaba. So here's some very, very quick tips. Somebody give me something to go source, okay? Somebody go give me something to source and let's just go source something. Whatever it is you want me to source, I'll go and f let's go and find something and f see if I can, while sourcing it, I can tell you how to avoid getting scammed. What have you got? Water bottles, luggage, plastic pots, a men's sa sushi kit, says Debbie. Well, I love sushi, so let's do sushi kit. Sushi sit kit. Uh, okay, so first thing to do, Notice up here, you've got products and suppliers. Products and suppliers. Clearly, you're actually looking for suppliers because you want to find suppliers. So just change that. The default is products. You're going to go search for suppliers. Now, second thing, and again, I don't want to kind of get into a real long, here's how you source products on Alibaba because I've got an entire course dedicated to that. And I'm just about to recommend my brand new book to you all about doing that. However, Let's just suppose we're doing sushi kits. I don't know really what that means. A kit, is that a sushi making kit? Let's suppose it is. So uh, first thing to look at, what we've got straight up here is the amount of time these people have been on Alibaba. And my normal is anything over, I like anything over five years. Like if they've been on Alibaba for five years, it's massively unlikely they are scamming people. That just makes sense, yeah? Um, I never ever go with anybody who's been on Alibaba for one year. Regardless of how good they may be, it's just much more likely that they'll be a scammer, that if they've only been on for one year, okay? I'm not saying there would be, I'm just saying it's much more likely that they would be. Whereas, you know, anything over six years, They've survived that long in Alibaba, they're not ripping people off. Because Alibaba actually throws people off really, really quickly, okay? So I'd possibly look at those, but um, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, so six years is kind of my reference point, all right? Uh, and then if they have got, you can also check the trade assurance one and the verified supplier dot. So if you do those three things, then that ought to get rid of the vast majority of risk about sourcing on Alibaba. There are other things to make the sourcing process better, but specifically relative to um, 
not getting scammed. They're your big ones. They're your big three. So the amount of time on Alibaba, uh, trade assurance, okay, just means that they are happy for you to pay through Alibaba, through Alibaba, and Alibaba acts as a kind of quasi escrow service, okay? That's how that works. And then verified means that somebody, uh, hopefully a independent company, I'll show you that in a second if you like, uh, has been to their factory or offices, if it's a trading company, and verified that they exist, verified that they are a proper legitimate operation, okay? So if you do those three, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. Uh, should I show you one more thing? I'll show you one more thing, okay? And then I'm going to sell you on buying my book. Um, so here we are. I've just clicked in. So now I've found somebody, Liu Ho, Orange Mechanical Equipment Company. And I like the look of this particular factory. Who knows if I do or don't? Doesn't really matter. I'll come over here and I'm going to go look at the factory. Most people don't even get this far, okay? They don't even get this far. They don't go and have a look at what the factory is all about. They don't check out the quality control or check out any of the um, certificates that they've got or anything at all, you know? Most people just go, are you the cheapest? Which is shit. You shouldn't do that. You don't want to do that at all, okay? So, and if I click on one of these, look, I can kind of see these have been taken by a verified company. I can see that they're actually got machinery there. This is a legitimate factory, yeah? Whilst it may not be a very clean factory, it's certainly a legitimate factory. So that's gives you some things. That is as much as you would need to get rid of scammers, okay? Now, what I have not given you is how to assess the factory to make sure that they're going to do a good job for you, how to approach the factory properly to make sure that you're going to start off on the right foot, how to negotiate with the factory, how to get an inspection done with the factory. Like I haven't given you anything else with that, okay? But if you'd like to get all of that, then may I humbly suggest that you buy my brand new book, How to Beat Chinese Sellers at Their Own Game, A Guide to Sourcing Products for Pennies on the Dollar. It is $16.45 for you to buy, or if you are Kindle Unlimited, it is free. So whichever one you want, I don't really mind. Just get the information, it's good information. Here's the link for it. Or if you just type that into Amazon, How to Beat Chinese Sellers at Their Own Game, you'll find it that way too, okay? It's got everything I know in it about sourcing products from China. Not just China, right around the world, okay? I call it China, but really, this is how you source products. This is how you source products. So if you want to learn that stuff, bum, 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 super cool. Lots and lots of good feedback, good book. I hope that you buy it. Hey, this is Neil Asher from the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs, and that was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We have over two and a half thousand members here in Australia and right around the world uh, and growing. We're actually the fastest growing community of e-commerce entrepreneurs anywhere in uh, Australia. Uh, our members have got sales of over $50 million, $50 million. If you'd like to find out more, come and join us. Get yourself off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au and I look forward to helping you build your own e-commerce freedom business. Till next time, bye.